bad times today. We have no milk. This is my breakfast cereal. It's quarter past eight. Why are you so smiley? It's not. It's not funny. I don't like toast, so we like to toast for breakfast. Should I drive to the shop? Yeah, you could just go like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna go like this. Morning, Percy. Morning, mate. Morning, Nala. <laughs> Good morning guys, good morning, how you doing? Hope you're having a lovely day. Whatever you're doing, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. I've got yesterday's socks, which is great. There's no point me putting fresh socks on yet. I need to go and have a shower. But before I shower, I need to go buy some milk. I'm trying to think if I have any milk in my office. That's way closer than the shop, but I don't think I do. I think everyone in the office drinks almond milk. Zoe, do you want to come to the shop with me and be a cute couple's trip? No, we can go on a date to the corner shop. No, See you in a minute. Well, I've shown you the pumpkins since we came back from the pumpkin place the other day. Do you remember how big they were when we were carrying them? Now, they literally just look like the right size because this part of our house like the front entrance bit is quite big so the pumpkins if they were any smaller would have looked strange so I'm, so I'm glad we went to the effort of carrying the biggest pumpkins what was that noise my car just made a pig noise before the vlog properly starts I just want to ask you a question that will hopefully provoke a thought in your head and that is why I was at a um, at a leaders retreat it was called in the woods a couple of weeks ago it was like a day where lots of people met and discussed what they're up to and why they're doing what they do in the world and stuff and there's lots of different like questions and I don't know I can't really I don't know how to describe it anyways the question of why popped up a lot which is why are you doing what you do why why do you do it why do you enjoy doing it why everything to do with why and it really made me think like why do I do what I do? Why do I make YouTube videos? Why do I choose to upload every single day? Why do I do the things that I do and what is the intention of me doing them and what result do I want from them? So I guess what I'm saying is take some time today, no phones, no laptops, nothing, like an hour or two, and just have a think about why you're either doing what you want to do or why you're wanting to do what you're wanting to do so if you've got a job and you're working full-time and stuff like that why do you have that job and really think about it and if you are aspiring for a particular job like i was chatting to a guy the other day who wanted to work in the city in the back of a really really intense mathematical oh, what was the exact name of the role he was doing maths at, at uni and there was some role that he was doing and he said the only reason he wanted to get that job was for money that was it and that really shocked me because money isn't like don't get me wrong everyone wants to earn good money but it's never been the incentive for me i don't know i just wanted to pop that word into your head of the word why have a think why you do what you do or why you want to do what you want to do it and i hope that I hope that fuels i hope that i hope that sparks something in your head anyways i need to go and go and get some milk now from the shop. Cheers everybody. Are you ready? Good girl, that's nice of you. Go on then, good girl. Zoe's doing the 24 hour challenge. Look, I fit in it. See you later. Shall we? Yeah, and I'll go boo! She'll think we're blooming weirdos. Is it cosy? Yeah, I like it. Should I put Nala in there with you? Yeah. Go see mummy. Hello! Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, ha ha! Hello! Come on in. But this is actually what we got the box for, guys. We need to put the legs on it so I can do a little seat kind of thing. Oh yeah, you tell them. So it 
tidy in the bathroom, picking up like towels that all the guests used at the weekend, making a pile and like, I just put these on and I had my hair up like this. I'm still so paranoid. And I felt this like tickle up my neck. So I looked in the mirror because the mirror was opposite in the bathroom and I just saw this massive black spider running up my neck and up like, my face. Massive, like, like massive. Spider. Not like a daddy long legs, like a proper thick spider. The ones that I don't like, like I actually have shivers talking about it. I went like that to flick it off, I screamed and it didn't flick off because it was so f***ing you doing? So then I hit it again and then like realisation set in <laughs> what had just happened and then I burst into tears. <laughs> Look at her. Nala. Zoe was like squealing and screaming because of the spider and then by the time I got into the bathroom it was like uh... I didn't even realise I was that scared of spiders but until there's one crawling up your face yeah. and you see it, if I hadn't have seen it in the mirror I don't think It was big, it was very very big but I Honestly, I was like, what's that tickly thing? Looked in the mirror and saw it. Like, if I had on your own face. On my own face. And then I tried to hit it and it didn't go because it was too far, so I was literally like. <laughs> and then Zoe was like, but they come in too, they come in too. Like, <laughs> in her face. And then she was like, maybe they're in my dungaree. She was like, standing there hitting her legs, trying to squish them if there was any. In... It was yeah. a bit traumatic. I, that it is the was worst traumatic. thing. Honestly, no, it was bad. The spider was gross. It was on your face. You saw it on your face. Um, very traumatic morning. It's the one in the thing household, everybody. That I just think, okay, I don't like spiders, but imagine if there was one crawling up your neck and face. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's the worst thing that could happen with a spider. Yeah. Because I don't mind them if they're not near me. <laughs> very productive meetings at the office today I would love to be able to chat to you about them and I'm sure I will be able to soon oh the garden has been the grass literally looks like a football pitch it's all stripy look one of them was with somebody that I can potentially work with in the future with the new team which is exciting In these vlogs sometimes, it literally looks like I just go from meal to meal and I don't stop eating. But since the last vlog clip, um, as I think I told you, I had a two hour chat with my therapist. And my vlog that went up tonight at five o'clock, it's now 7.30 p.m. in the evening, I spoke about having a therapist in. Oh, these lights are making my face look weird. Look, I've got like lines or ignore it. Um, I spoke about in the vlog that I've got a therapist and there are so many comments I've been reading because I do read my comments on these vlogs. I do read my tweets that you send me saying, why does Alfie have a therapist? Like what, who's that? Which I've spoken about before in a video, but um, I'm happy to talk about it again in case some of you missed it. I do have a therapist. I spoke to my therapist yesterday. I spoke to my therapist again today. I normally speak to her once a week and normally we Skype rather than meet up in person and chat. And the reason why I have a therapist, the best way to describe it is mind management. So I haven't got any particular thing that I would like to talk to her with. Like I don't have, um, I don't suffer with depression or anxiety or panic attacks or something that happened in my childhood that I'd like to speak about. For me, having a, working with my therapist is mind management. It's basically like, like you eat healthy. Like today I've made a conscious effort to eat healthy. I've got vegetables, quinoa, and salmon. But what people don't often do is look after what's in here, which I think is the most important bit. If anything about being a human is important, it's in here, it's in the brain. So for me, um, my therapist is to help me, is to help what's, in, what's going on in here, which is just everyday life. So we talk about, oh, daddy long legs. I hate Daddy Long Legs, get away. Blooming it, that one's m Like, I've never seen one that big. Literally, it's like a bird. Get away, go into another room and then I'll be happy. <laughs> what was I saying? Um, mind management, basically, just everyday things in my life that I could manage 
better than I currently do. And as I said in yesterday's video, I do I would love to chat to you guys about some of these things because I feel it, if it can help me, it might help some of you. Um, today we've been talking about displacing things. I think it's displacing, is that the right word? So I have a lot of things, uh, like tasks and jobs that I need to do, and I'm personally not very good at doing them straight away. So for example, the tent at the bottom, like this, literally it's as simple as this, but obviously once it's like affects many, many different things, it does make a big difference in your life. So for example, the, you know the tent at the bottom of our garden, I was meant to take that down two months ago, and because I haven't bothered, bothered taking that down yet, I've now killed all the grass underneath it, so that's a, that's a bad thing. I also don't know there's like sofas and that in there that I think Sean's gonna have, because I don't have any room for it in my office anymore. But every time I go out into the garden and I see it, mentally I'm like, oh, I need to sort out the sofa, take the rug back to the office, take the side table, what's inside there, back to the office, and put it away, and then I need to, sort out trying to get the grass back alive rather than a circle of mud and every time I look at it I almost go through the process without physically doing it of mentally doing it which is mentally draining that every time I look out into my garden I'm, I'm like oh I need to do that task and if I just did it every time I look out into my garden I wouldn't be having that mental like drain and that repeats and repeats and repeats many times throughout my life with like my washing, I always leave my washing to the last minute rather than just doing a wash load when I need to. I wait until I literally have no clean t-shirts left. And then I'm like, oh my God, now I need to take three hours out of my day to do wash load after wash load after wash load, rather than just doing one wash load every couple of days like the average person does. And obviously these are all mundane small things, but when you have 20 of them that are going on, um, it, does, it does affect my life. And I didn't, I didn't even realize it does affect my life. I didn't even think about it really. It's just something that we found out as we've been speaking. I don't know, it probably all sounds so mundane to you. You might not be able to relate, but I just wanted to explain the reason why I have a therapist. It's purely just because I would like to talk to somebody about how to make my everyday life better and more efficient and make sure that I have very, very productive work time, but also very, very productive non-work time that I'm enjoying with Zoe and my family and off. Anyways, I'm gonna eat my dinner before it gets cold. I've just shown you what I've got for dinner tonight that, uh, that I've just been cooking up. Mm -mm -mm. It's quite a few hours later, guys. Just been sorting out my wardrobe for blooming ages, trying to sort out the mess that I've made because I haven't even, well, I have kind of unpacked since we got back from holiday, but just not properly. I basically just threw it all over the floor <laughs> and emptied my suitcase. But um, we're about to start watching. I know I can't really vlog much because I'm just filming the screen because otherwise you can't see me. It's just pitch black if I face it this way. I've also just had a shower, proper cold shower, which is so nice now getting into bed. Uh, what are we about to watch? Tin Star. This is what Tanya and Jim told us to watch. Tin Star. I have no idea what it's about. I don't even know what it says on the screen that you guys... Have been that I've been showing you for the last minute or so. There is sometimes a fine line between a cop and a criminal. What drives their personality may be the same, and they have simply chosen different roles and professions to call their own. That's what we're about to do. I'm going to attempt to vlog myself, but you probably can't. Yeah, you can't see me at all. I'll try and brighten the screen now. Probably still can't see me, but I'm going to end the vlog. It's been a bit of a long, chatty one today, rather than activity filled. Have you got anything to say, Zoe? <laughs> No. Got anything to add? No. You never have anything to add. Some Zoe words of wisdom. Go. <sighs> One thing, quick. Everybody should invest. Oh, I really wanted you to go. <laughs> scat, 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 boom, pow. <laughs> Everybody should invest in a spider catcher this time of year. They're really, That's actually very true. There are a bloody the lot rise. of daddy long legs. Oh, I vlogged one earlier, actually. Daddy long legs. I think our house has currently got at least like 20 in it. Yeah. That's not even I exaggeration. I can feel like an itch on my neck as you're saying that. I just got that. rid of one. Yeah, Zoe didn't squish it. She put it outside. I don't mind Daddy Long Legs. They're just not those ones that crawled on my face Not earlier. the one that made you cry this morning. No. <laughs> I actually you legit cried. Like, cry. <laughs> like, you know, when someone just stands Nothing there. Nothing makes go, me cry like Ugh. that. I was proper in shock. Like, I was proper, like, shooken up, shaken up. You were proper shook. 
do you know what I was saying made it so much worse that I what? saw it in the mirror? Yeah, I you think, saw it on your face. Because that's all I can picture now. And you didn't hit it first time, you got it second time. First time I missed it. Yeah, so it was on there for even longer. So I hit it, looked back at the mirror, it's still there. Hit it again. Yeah. Oh god, it gives me goosebumps even thinking about it. They're gonna be in our bed tonight, all I'm on you. In to... your mouth. No, I'm gonna have really horrible dreams about it. <gasps> Gorgeous, that whole time. What? I've had a tear out. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can't see anything, it's pitch yeah, black. Yeah, but someone might lighten it. Oh, you put just, a pitch black screen check? instead. Okay, yeah, no, that's good. Yeah. I've had a boob out the I'm whole gonna time. I'm going to leave that, though. Um, <laughs> so funny. Right, there we go. End of my vlog with Spiders a tip. Spiders and boobs. Catch you in the morning. Subscribe if you're not already. Go buy some merch, links down below. Go and have a lovely day. And I'll, I'll catch you on the flip side. Did you say mother flipper? <laughs> yeah. Good night, guys. We haven't got much milk this morning, and I'm not really very good. Breakfast is the one meal that I'm just not very good at. Like, I never really know what to make if I don't make cereal, because I'm not the biggest fan of toast. And I feel like the two easy options are either cereal or toast. And since I don't really like toast, I'm kind of left with cereal, and if we don't have much milk, I'm kind of left with an apple and a yogurt that I'm not really... I know I do like these, I loved these when I was younger, I just prefer something a bit bigger for my breakfast. Don't know why I just put my spoon in my coffee, my spoon is for my yogurt. <laughs> got an interesting day at the office today, we've got one of the Crate Store members of staffs coming down, normally obviously the Crate Store peeps work in London. But today we've got Sophia coming down to my office to work from here. I think she's going to start working in Brighton at my office one day a week, which will be nice. Um, I've, got, I've got a meeting with my advisor for an hour. I've got a biannual review. So basically every six months I have like a sit down, chat, review, catch up. It's still official, like, there's all like note making and all stuff like that as well with, with the people that work at the team. And we just talk about what's gone well, what hasn't gone well, how we could work together better, what we see ourselves doing in five years time, in a couple years time, what we see us working on together, how we see us working together. It, se it seems all big and scary because it's like every six months we need to sit down and review how everything is going. But it's all positive because it means it's like, this is the stuff that went well, let's do more of this. This is the stuff that didn't go well, let's either improve it or just not do this kind of stuff. So I'm excited for the review today. I'm going to a friend's gig tonight in Brighton. One of my friends is performing in Brighton and Che's coming and Callum's coming. Zoe might be coming, Poppy and Sean might be coming. My mum wants to go. Josh Zerk is going with his girlfriend. I've also got a lot of just sorting, getting little jobs done. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know that I talked about, was it called displacement technique or something? I can't really remember. Basically, I need to work on lots of little tasks that I've meant to have been getting done and I keep them putting off. It is literally like 10 past 8 in the evening. It's not the morning. This is possibly the weirdest start to a vlog I've ever done. I've got someone playing me some background music. Hey. 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 <laughs> Guys, tonight. Today's been the busiest day of my entire life. I've had to double up the vlogs. So productive today, like so blooming productive, but just nuts busy. I'm currently walking through Brighton in the rain to go and see my friend Sarah Close perform. She's got a gig in Brighton, my hometown, tonight, and I'm so excited. Some friends of mine are also going down there. Zoe was meant to be coming, but she's really not feeling well. You guys have known, you've seen in the vlogs. Over the last couple of days, she has had really, really bad headaches. So she was planning on coming tonight. She's got a ticket to come tonight, but has had to stay at home with like an ice pack thing on her head. Um, yeah, sucks. Because she's gonna, she's gonna be annoyed when she sees the vlog and all the fun and all the Snapchats and Instas. Yeah, hopefully. I think I'm just around the corner now. Hopefully I'm getting soaked. Here we go. Everyone's already inside, I'm the last person.
did tonight go? It went so well. It was such a good show, and I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> come to heaven. <laughs> I know. I want to come. I'll see you in heaven. God, I love having this light. It looks really good though in the video. Doesn't Sarah look like she's going go karting, guys? Vroom vroom. Let's see. Got yeah, you've got a little bit of a gap going on. Yeah. yeah. I want everyone to know I shaved my legs this week. Hence that car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Been working out. I do. Okay, things are getting weird. Bye. She has a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. Don't, <laughs> don't look at me. Don't worry, guys. I'm not looking at her whilst I vlog. Don't worry. But hopefully, I'll see you. See you later. Someone's asleep over there, guys. This is weird. But that's that's one of the members of staff who works here. It's just having a nap. Completely forgot. Just didn't realise that it would be like a clubbing night on a Wednesday. But of course, it's bright and every night is a clubbing night. I feel old. Like that used to be me. The amount of people that I'm walking past that are heading out clubbing now in the rain all dressed in like nice clothes hanging out with all their friends and i'm going home going back to my house with my dog and my girlfriend there are certain moments in life that click and i'm like whoa i'm not 17 anymore should have bought a jacket didn't think about it so there used to be this pizza place that was zoe and i's absolute favorite place to order from when it was late at night like a proper dirty gross pizza we can't order from there anymore because our new address doesn't, it's like not within the, the postcode area. Finally, I've managed to pull over and I can vlog. Sorry, you can probably just hear the rain. It is like torrential rain outside. So there's a place just here called Pizza Extra that if you've been watching the vlogs for a long time, you'll know that Zoe and I love Pizza Extra pizzas. They're like the square ones that like there's a square box and a square pizza inside. Proper greasy, proper dirty, proper bad for you. But when it's like midnight that is what you want that is like that's the goal now i actually cooked myself dinner last night i double cooked a portion last night of like salmon and quinoa and vegetables and asparagus and all stuff like that so i've actually got that at home it would just be rude not to be so close to our old favorite pizza spot not favorite pizza spot because that's definitely not a favorite pizza spot if you want a good quality pizza that is not the place you go that is the dirt the worst of the worst quality delicious but bad that's basically what i'm trying to say is it would be rude if i didn't pop in there and grab a pizza for me and zoe on the way home as a surprise while she's tucked up in bed with a headache like it just i wouldn't be a good boyfriend you know and i, I rate myself as a good boyfriend so that's what i'm that's that's what i'm gonna do i've even got a hat in here might put a blooming hat on, although it kind of defeats the purpose of putting a hat on because my hair is already wet underneath. Anyways, let's go order a dirty pizza. I can't even begin to tell you how good that smells and how tempted I am to eat a slice now rather than wait until I get home. Like, oh my god, it smells so... I might just have to have a cheeky little chicken nugget. I did order a pack of chicken nuggets as well. Mm. That drive home was pretty scary, to be honest, guys. I've never had a drive quite like that. Like, the roads are so wet, there is such big puddles down the side that I'm literally, like, gripping my wheel and driving so slowly because as soon as your wheels touch that water, it's like, like, takes control. I was driving so carefully just then. Like, don't get me wrong, I drive very carefully all the time. I've never, I've never gripped the steering wheel so tight before in my life whilst driving for such a long journey <laughs> and i will catch you tomorrow hope you have a lovely evening doing whatever you're doing do something fun do something productive do something you've always wanted to do do something that works towards something that you want to do that you might not already be doing okay i'll catch you tomorrow good night guys good night goodbye I never, I never, I never, I never, I, I know the